Hi everyone, it's time to start a new sketchbook. If you're new here, my name is Sally and I'm a mixed media artist in Australia. And if you're not new here, welcome back. So you might have seen that two videos ago, oh, there's Echo, two videos ago, I posted my previous sketchbook sketchbook tour. So we had a look at all the art that I made for that. Today, we're going to fill out the first page of the new sketchbook. I use the Strathmore mixed media soft cover. I love just the flexibility of this one. I love the paper in this. I'll talk about that more in the voiceover when we're making the artwork. So let's go. All right, first thing we have to do is go to the sketchbook shelf and that's my completed sketchbooks and new sketchbooks and grab a new one. Now this is the Strathmore soft cover mixed media sketchbook and it's the 7.75 by 9.75 inch. It has 64 pages and the paper is 190 GSM and to be honest it kind of feels like it's thicker than that. Um, it's slightly textured and it's really fantastic for all kinds of wet media. Uh, I'm using watercolour and acrylic today for this piece and I've also used gouache and I've used paint markers, I've used alcohol markers, uh, coloured pencil, ink, like it, it takes everything really really well and I will link my sketchbook tour video in the description box down below so you can go and have a look at that and see all the different kinds of media that I used in my last sketchbook. And while I was doing that flip through I realized that I hadn't really used my neon watercolors much at all in that sketchbook and when I got them they were like my favorite paints and they really changed my whole art style around so I had to start this sketchbook off with my neon watercolors so I just used the green to pop down as sort of like the underpainting and a little bit of a background and then I went in with my acrylics on top. Now you may see that the sketch here is of a deer and it's a deer jumping away into the trees, into the forest. Where I live is kind of like there's a lot of forest around and it's really been my sanctuary and a great place to spend my days healing my mental health and my physical health and I've decided to add some text around this which we'll get to a little bit later. So the inspiration from this came from a friend of mine. I had recently done a painting of a kitten for my youngest Denise for her birthday because cats are her favorite animal and I'll pop a picture of it here so you can see it and a friend of mine said that it looked like a picture from like the cover of a little golden book and I completely agree it just had, sort of had that sort of vintage vibe and that's sort of the idea that I had for this I want it to, to be like a cute little animal uh, like a vintagey kind of feeling but then the text is something completely different and the text I decided to add is kind of like the intention that I want to set just for life in general and the intention and the vibes that I want to put into this sketchbook. My last sketchbook I started with a self-portrait. I find that a way to get over that sort of fear of the pressure of completing the first page of the sketchbook uh, is to do a self-portrait because you have yourself as a subject there readily available and it's really good practice to do self-portraits but I'd just done a self-portrait in the start of my bullet journal. My bullet journal runs for six months and I just actually last video that I uploaded was a flip through of my January to June bullet journal 
Uh, so now that we're at the start of July, I had just done a uh, self-portrait at the start of that. So I didn't want to sort of do another one for this, this one here. So I decided to do an artwork and illustration that was more representative of the kind of like the vibe that I'm trying to embody and take with me and, and set those intentions. So that's why I chose this piece. So I just laid down some acrylic in the mid, like the mid-tones and then I went in with building up the values with the lighter and the darker shades. And that's what I really like about working in gouache and acrylic is that you can work darker to lighter. I had previously had so much experience doing just watercolour painting and I could never do that. So I really love going in with the darker tones and then adding the white highlights on top. Uh, I really love that I'm able to do that with gouache and acrylic because they're more opaque. So I just wanted to make it look textured. And then we had a little bird visit us and Echo was in the studio. So we sort of had a little break and watched the bird. And she was very excited. Not only do the cats like coming in and seeing what I'm working on, they get a perfect view of all the bird life that we have. And today we had a bunch of cockatoos come visit. We had some magpies. So that was very exciting for all of us. And then I added in sort of a warmer kind of orangey peachy tone to its back end. Deer are so cute. Apparently there's a bunch of deer up near where I live, but I've never ever seen one. But they're quite common. Apparently. I've sketched a couple of deer recently in my sketch a day sketchbook. If you've been watching my shorts, I've been uploading one every day, uh, completing a little sketch in that sketchbook. And I just realized yesterday that deer and kangaroos have such a similar kind of face. So yeah, it's interesting. Similar ears, similar kind of face. Now I sped up this part because it's just, it's not, a, I don't know, it's not as interesting, <laughs> I guess. I just use some watercolor to do the trees in the background and... Yeah, it's, I guess it's not quite as interesting as painting the deer. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. Did I make a mistake speeding this up? So I really wanted the deer to be the main focal point because we do have a little bit of text around it. So I wasn't too fussed on making the background really detailed or anything like that. And then I just add a little bit of grass and some leaves down the bottom. And I'll take this opportunity to thank my Kofi members. I adore you. Uh, I'm six months into making the zine. I can't believe I've got six issues out now. It's so, so exciting. Uh, all the details for the memberships is in the description box down below. So check that out if you want another way that you can support me in these trying times. <laughs> And one thing I like to do to finish off my acrylic and gouache paintings, uh, especially in my sketchbook, is to add a little bit of colour pencil over the top. Just adds a little bit of extra detail and I love the texture. Like I really love the texture of coloured pencils. So I always finish off with a bit of colour pencil. And these I'm just using my Faber-Castell Polychromos. I just, I don't have a full set of those. They're so expensive. I just buy them open stock whenever I've got a few extra bucks. Um, I'll go to my favorite art supply store and treat myself to a Polychromos pencil. <laughs> so I don't have a huge range and I've got pretty sort of neutral colors. Like I know how I like to use them to finish off pieces. And so I've got darker colors, uh, but yeah. They're beautiful. One day I'll get a full set. And it's especially good if you're using them to add in the final touches of hair or fur because you do get that sort of chunky texture. They look good. 
pretty happy with how this little deer turned out. And then I just added the pencil to pop a little bit more detail in the trees. And then just straight white acrylic from the tube, nice and opaque and bright white to do those gorgeous little white spots that the deer have on their backs. And this just really made like the whole, the whole piece look good, in my opinion. <laughs> I've really been into drawing animals lately and portraits are my default, like people portraits. And if you watched my sketchbook tour, you'll notice there was a lot of portraits. It was very portrait heavy, that sketchbook. So it's been really nice to focus on doing some more animals lately. I'm a big animal lover. And then I just use the same white to do the little fluffy butt and add in those fine details on the tail a little bit more pencil just to finish it off and that's our deer so the text I chose when I was thinking I knew I wanted to add text around the drawing and or the painting and I knew I wanted it to be like, you know, something to motivate me. So I wrote unavailable for bullshit. And I used a Posca paint marker just in a light cream color that I got in a scroller box, the last scroller box. And then I just added a Derwent Intense pencil over the top. So it was just like a wash of like watercolor, just the pink in the middle. And this is me. I am unavailable for bullshit. So come at me with bullshit and I am not available. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you liked this video and consider subscribing to my channel. I do lots of work in my sketchbook and I do art subscription box unboxing. Uh, if you have the means or the interest in receiving zines every month from me, you can check out my Kofi memberships, which is linked down in the description box down below. It's a really amazing way to support me. But honestly, just watching my videos is incredible. And I want to thank you so much for all your support. And thank you so much for watching. I feel like this is the energy that I'm going to take into the next few months. I am unavailable. Unavailable for the bullshit. And... You know, I think that we can all take something from that. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye.